Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, I'm an exercise physiologist, and today I wanna to talk to you about happiness. So have you ever been wanting something or been looking forward to something or expecting something and it just didn't happen for you? Um, have you ever been let down in your life? Well, I know I have, and I feel that um, talking about this topic of happiness um, will hopefully inspire you and also um, help us to kind of clear up um, maybe some ways on how we're contributing to unhappiness, to our own dissatisfaction in life. Um, so let's dive in. Okay, so the dictionary defines happiness as contentment, pleasure, satisfaction, and cheerfulness. So these are just some of the terms that come along with being happy. Someone that is perceived as happy is, you know, often cheerful and smiling and they seem like everything in their life is, is going well and is okay. But is that always the case? You know, I, I really don't think so. I think happiness is more of a perspective than an actual um, uh, reliance on something external, okay? So a couple of thoughts on the keys to happiness um, from my perspective are having kindness. So this is kindness with yourself and with those around you. Um, having well-being, so being comfortable, being healthy, and feeling safe in your life. And also having long-term and lifelong meaning and worth. Okay, so those three things, and I'll say them again, kindness to yourself and others, uh, well-being, being comfortable, healthy, and safe, and also having meaning or worth throughout your life. So, you know, for me, going after these things in my life and keeping them at a constant kind of shifts the perspective for me um, because I think like most people, my happiness would be determined by my circumstances. If things went well in my life, if I had wonderful and good things happen to me, of course, I, I was happy, um, but if things didn't go my way or my expectations weren't fulfilled in the way that I wanted them to be, or even if you're working out and you're waiting for a specific goal to come to fruition, like you're looking for that weight loss to happen and, and maybe things are taking longer than expected, um, we can start to lose our happiness, okay? I'm not talking so much about joy today, I'm talking specifically about the emotion of being happy. Um, Okay, so a lot of this, I think, is tied with fulfillment. So fulfillment in life, feeling like your life matters, feeling like, you know, there's hope just around the corner that maybe the next day will be brighter than the last. Um, I think those type of thoughts tend to breed happiness as opposed to today was a terrible day, I can't stand my job, I'm a failure, where's my life going? You know, God forbid, you know, those type of thoughts are are something that are just thoughts that are gonna bring us down, that are gonna make us feel like we don't wanna go on or that we're just not happy. Um, so I think, you know, it's really important to analyze your thoughts as they come into your head and kind of be easy with yourself. You know, I've talked about this a lot on my channel is don't put so much pressure on yourself. You know, maybe treat yourself as you would a really good friend or a loved one. Um, you know, if you've messed up, if you haven't met your own goals and expectations, be easy on yourself. Take a step back, maybe redirect your focus onto your something else, maybe um, your list. If you have a list of things that you're working towards, um, you you can kind of refocus onto that and make, maybe make some adjustments or maybe you have to take a couple steps back before you take those next steps forward everything's a process everything's a journey you know sometimes things aren't just going to happen the way that we want them to and in, in the time that we want them to obviously um, but we can allow our emotions to be affected by these things because you'll be surprised the most happy people out there are the ones that don't have exactly what you think they do so happiness and and some do some some have the things and they are happy but in reality what really matters is what makes you happy and what makes you what, what it takes for you to make yourself happy because we can't rely on other people to make us happy 
you know, sometimes people will make us happy, but that shouldn't be the only reason why that we're happy, okay? Um, and our happiness isn't the most important thing. You know, there's um, a lot of stuff that may be more important than our happiness, you know, um, but your happiness and my happiness is important with that said, you know, we shouldn't just be going through life, like just getting by, just, you know, putting in another hour at work or, you know, just, you know, putting one foot in front of the, the other and, and, and just kind of begrudgingly thinking like, you know, I've done this before, I've had hope before, and trust me, I've been there too, you know, and um, having these expectations and having these kind of goals and aspirations and and having, you know, things not work out the way you want to and feeling discouraged, it's not a fun feeling, you know, and it really just makes a person lose their hope and their drive and um, in turn their fulfillment in life. So if we go back to that fulfillment, what creates fulfillment so you know you know what i believe if you've watched my channel you know i think being fulfilled has to do with having a belief in the creator having a relationship with god is really gonna bring you that fulfillment because you're always being redirected towards like what is the what is going to be the best outcome for everyone in this situation and also you know how can I see this situation in a different way or in a different light in order to have a, a better outlook or a better mindset? You know, um, I think having the self drive or the self, like, if I don't get it done, it's not going to get done or, you know, putting so much pressure on yourself, you know, it, it can take a lot of our happiness away. So being able to rely on God. So at the end of the day, when things maybe don't work out the way we expected or wanted them to, we can say, okay, God, I don't understand. I don't see, um, you know, I don't agree with this. I'm not happy, um, but I trust you. And I just, you know, ask you to um, bring happiness into my life. Maybe help me look at the situation in a different way and then leave me open to new possibilities because every day is different, um, filled with new opportunities. And we wanna have the best attitude to receive, you know, the best that we can get in life and we can't get hung up so much on you know uh, certain things that may be making us unhappy or or worried or anything like that all right so some tips on how to keep happiness in your life maybe these are some that you have thought of or maybe you haven't thought of these regardless we're going to talk about them okay so the first thing is turn off social media if you are aware maybe you are aware of how much time you're spending on your phone. I mean, when I look in life nowadays, I feel like everybody is on their phone at every single time I look at them. They're just either scrolling on social media or looking at YouTube videos and, you know, or whatever. And while those things aren't bad, you know, this is where we get our information now. This is where we're able to, um, you know, connect with others sometimes, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but how much time we're actually spending on it and how much time we're actually scrolling. I mean, if you really sit back and look at your phone and look at how many hours, it can be hours and hours and hours sometimes that we're looking at social media and, you know, this is not going to bring happiness. This is not going to bring, you know, any any type of long-term, um, dopamine good feelings anything like that so you know it's like an instant gratification thing so when we're on it we feel this you know this high we feel you know the dopamine hit of like you know the information we're getting or the curiosity we have is being fulfilled through searching things or, or looking up um, even just stupid things like gossip about celebrities and um, you know how to decorate your home or you know different vacations people are on and at some point it becomes very overwhelming because you know it's really hard to live up to that kind of fast-paced life of things just always being new always being changed always being changed or always changing um so we watch things that we think are healthy or are safe or good for us to watch but then we want to then you know spend a ton of money and remodel our kitchen or remodel our bathroom or you know maybe these things we don't necessarily have to do but you know, through, um, you know, watching things and constantly being bombarded with this intake of information, you know, it makes us feel 
like we need more or want more and that can create a sense of unhappiness and then just the drain of of being in front of that screen for so long later on you're gonna feel you know just depleted and then what's the, what is the thing that's gonna bring us <coughs> back is to look at our phone again is to you know get that hit again so just be aware of that I, I know that you are but at some point we have to have a level of self-control where we realize like this isn't making me happy this isn't giving me long-term success in my life do you run your business on your phone or on your computer or online and that's something totally different but still having that time management where you know this is how much time i'm dedicating to this and then kind of go outside of that and say what actually makes me happy and foster those things instead so exercise you know is really important um, there was a study done on uh, exercise and happiness and it showed that the most um, effect on a people group was on older unmarried um, males who lived in rural areas um, those those that population had the most positive effect on uh, just their happiness and well-being in life um, when they added uh, exercise to their life so um, doesn't mean that other people groups don't have this effect but that one was the most significant um, and then the study went on to say that exercise does in general um, create a sense of happiness a sense of well-being um, in, in general when people feel that they're healthy or people feel that they um, you know you know feel good in the skin that they're in they're they tend to be a lot more happy so um, another thing is to eat healthy you know foods that are nourishing and satisfying but that are also healthy and that you enjoy you know I don't know if you're like this but when I sit down for a healthy meal and I eat just enough not too much I feel really happy I feel really good I feel really nourished okay um, getting some rest versus sleep so a lot of times we are getting the sleep that we need but we're not taking the time to reflect and we're not taking the time to actually you know let our souls catch up with our bodies like being able to just sit and you know gather our thoughts and and you know put our legs up and and rest and you know having a hobby maybe something you enjoy whether it's reading or playing games board games cards you know just realizing that there's other options besides as i mentioned um phones and social media and try to get our satisfaction from things that are connecting us with people okay so relationships um, being connected with others is going to be a really big source of happiness in our lives especially later on as we age so if you can continue that now and it could be just having like a couple really good friends maybe a handful of friends people that you trust and that you can be vulnerable with and talk about life with so that's another thing if we're holding our emotions in you know we're going to be um, dissatisfied with life sometimes we're going to feel you know like the world is coming down on us god forbid or you know just like things aren't working out like i said the way that you want them to you're gonna feel mad you're gonna feel all, all these these this range of emotions all these all these emotions are completely normal but having the control in the emotion is important and being able to talk about them with people and then, so if you don't have friends or people in your life that you can be vulnerable with and talk to about things you know go try to find some groups um you know with things that you're interested in maybe at church or you know um or otherwise or, or maybe just pray about god bringing people into your life that you can talk to um and that you get good feedback from that you get sound feedback from people that have your best interests in mind and that will tell you the truth and want to be your friend anyway you know and you know if you've been hurt in the past by friends or people that that's part of life and that's part of you know growth um but please don't uh, shy away from doing that now or in the future because there's always new people and opportunities uh, just around the corner okay you want to have tangible goals so having goals in your life that you are constantly going after and that you're able to achieve is really going to increase your happiness so if i set out to um you know bringing it back to fitness if i set out to run a 5k in under 30 minutes and i reach that goal that's a totally achievable goal and it's something that you know with consistency i'll totally be able to do um if um you know you don't want to think about it in, in an exercise perspective um say you like knitting or say you like um, puzzles whatever it is something that you can tangibly do something that you're able to do in the physical world 
and that you're able to achieve something or um, just uh, put your mind onto something that your, your hands or your body are doing. Um, that's going to really help with satisfaction and happiness. Um, stop the negative self-talk. So the way that you talk to yourself, so if you've had a bad day, don't beat yourself up about it. If you feel like things are unsettled inside of you or in your heart or you're thinking about whether or not you did your best or you know maybe you're thinking about the way people talk to you or how they treated you, um, maybe just be nice to yourself. Give yourself a little pat on the back for showing up you know, in this world that today that we're experiencing so many crazy and um, interesting uh, ways of thinking. Um, just, you know, give yourself the credit for, you know, doing the best that you can and for um, just, just showing up. And if you're not doing the best you can, you feel like you, you can be doing better, tomorrow is always another day. Okay, so we have, we always have tomorrow, Lord willing. All right, um, and then lastly, you wanna have a self-care day. Sometimes you just need some TLC. Um, you can get a massage if you want to, but if you wanna do something that's low budget, you can really just spend a couple extra minutes in the shower or you know, um, do your nails if, if you're a female or if you're a male, you wanna groom yourself. Just pay attention to yourself. And you know, a lot of times we're rushing, so we're rushing to get our hair done or makeup on and stuff, and we're not really paying attention to ourselves. You know, maybe do a mask or um, you know, just any type of treatment to your body. Uh, put lotion on. Um, you can lay down on your bed with your legs up. Um, just something that's gonna bring some sort of like um, care and gentleness into your physical body. Um, because we deal with a lot of things on a daily basis, a lot of emotions, um, there's a lot coming at us, and we just sometimes need, you know, to let ourselves know subconsciously that we're being taken care of. Okay, so um, we talked about a lot of things today. Um, these are just my thoughts and, and things that, you know, I wanted to share with you because I think um, we're all at risk for being unhappy every single day. It's a choice, you know, life is a choice. Um, you know, my grandmother, my Nana used to say that when she was unhappy, she'd go out and talk to people, you know, taking the focus off yourself and maybe on others. And um, that brings a sense of um, fulfillment and purpose, you know, sometimes in our lives. Um, so that may be a good idea as well. Um, but then, you know, just accepting yourself for who you are in the phase of your life that you're in right now and just know that you can rest and trust that everything's going to be okay and then do the things that you know you need to do to make yourself happy and well um and just uh, at the end just you know uh, be able to thrive in this life because that's what we need to do is just be able to have hope so we can go forward and persevere um and then be able be able to thrive Thanks for, so much for watching. Thanks for being here and spending time with me. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.